Hi there. Today I'll be introducing you to a brand new piece of software that can generate you thousands of backlinks from high page rank authority wiki sites. Now, if you're familiar with Wikipedia style backlinks, you'll know that it can cost as much as $50 for a single wiki blast. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily do a wiki blast for a fraction of that price using this revolutionary software. So, now to get started, let's first go over some of the settings that this program offers. So click here. All right, now you see we have several options. First off, CAPTCHA. Um, most of you are probably very familiar with CAPTCHA solving is the little uh, image that you have to type in each time. Well, you have an option here to skip sites with CAPTCHA. However, I wouldn't recommend that. Instead, you should either do manual or preferably automatic CAPTCHA solving. And now there's two services that we provide support for, Death by CAPTCHA and DCAPTCHA.com the two highest rated CAPTCHA solving services. And uh, having an automatic CAPTCHA solving service will greatly increase your success rate. So this is highly recommended. Next, we have Spinner Chief, the API. Uh, Spinner Chief, what it does is it'll take words from an article and spin them using uh, a thesaurus. So this way you get unique articles every time instead of just copying an article word for word. Now, if you don't have a Spinner Chief account, you can click right here to create one. Uh, an account is free. However, free accounts are limited to only 20 queries a day, whereas uh, if you go pro, uh, you get unlimited. Next, we have a proxy option. You can choose to test uh, test all your proxies after you import them. You also have autosave, so you can have it uh, autosave every 5 to 60 minutes. And this is just really useful in case in case the program crashes. It doesn't really happen often, but if you run out of RAM, it crashes. Uh, this will be autosaved. Next is the display console. This is what this black area right here is. You can uncheck it if you feel like you don't really want it or you don't want to see it, don't have enough RAM. But this is uh, what this will do is show everything that's actually going on in the background processes. So let's scroll down a little bit. Now we have auto retry. So this is uh, in case sometimes it might get the capture wrong or it might not read the page properly for whatever reason. You can actually set to auto retry up to two times and uh, setting it to, uh, to a higher number is going to obviously um, take longer however it will, will increase your success rate and then right below here we have the multi-threading speed you have two options for account creation and campaign posting um, basically each thread is like a browser window so you could actually have 20 browser windows all open all trying to create accounts or posting all at the same time so you have an option anywhere from 10 to 100 and that pretty much sums it up for all the options this software offers so next, let's take a look at the proxies tab, which is right here. So you can see real easy to use interface. Or you can you can add a proxy here, or you can choose to import from a text file. Uh, once you have a list of proxies set up, you can uh, click. Uh, you can select the proxies by clicking this and then test. And if you want to use proxies with uh, the services, make sure you click check this box right here. Use proxies. And now that we're all set up, let's go ahead and move to the account screen and uh, create some accounts. Account creation has never been easier. All you have to do to create all these accounts is click here, uh, enter a group name in, I'll put test group, and go ahead and click create account group. Now as you can see the software automatically goes to work for you creating these accounts on all these wiki sites. And keep in mind it uses 100% unique usernames. That means if you post to a 10,000 wiki sites, it will generate 10,000 completely random and unique usernames. Another key thing is this list of sites right here is automatically updated from our servers. So you don't have to worry about going out trying to find wiki sites, deleting dead wiki sites. No, we take care of all that for you. Uh, as you. As you can see, it's already going to work right here. Uh, this could take a little time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and continue once it's done. Okay, so now that our accounts have finished creating, uh, first off, now's a good time to save. And to save your project, simply go to Project up here and just Save As. Uh, I already saved this project one time, so I don't need to save it again. But uh, that's how you save. You can also load a project. Uh, you can also start a new project. And you can also restore backup in case it crashes. Anyway, now let's go ahead and go to the campaign screen. Okay, now. So let's go ahead and create a campaign. Just click on Schedule a Campaign. All right, you got to fill in a few fields. Uh, for the name, we'll just type in Test Campaign 1. And here's one of the coolest features of this software. Instead of having it blast out all the wiki uh, postings all at once, you can have it drip feed. And drip feeding has proven to be much more effective than just doing a one-time blast. So I'm going to set this at 500 a day. 
uh, account group, I'm going to use the accounts I just created, the test group. Uh, for the seed uh, keyword, um, I'm going to type in wiki articles. I have a spinner chief, so I'm going to go ahead and auto spin and just click generate. As you can see, it's going to generate. It's very fast. There you go. Articles completely done. Done. As you can see, it's fully spun and ready for us to use. Okay, now that our article is ready, we have to put in an anchor. And putting an anchor text is just this easy. Check it out. Let's say we want to use the ultimate source as our anchor text. All you do is highlight it, right click, click on add link, uh, put in your URL, and then just click OK. And there you go. Now this is an anchor text. And you can go ahead and preview. And you'll see our text is right there. That gives us a backlink back to our website. On top of selecting certain keywords to be your anchor text, you can also add in what we call a random anchor. And these are just keywords, uh, very generic, that webmasters use when naturally backlinking. So it makes these appear more natural. So let's go down here. And I'll just show you a quick example. Just right click if you want to add a random text. Add link. Let's put in. And just click on add random anchor. You'll see it instantly puts in random anchor text um, that are related to this article. And of course, you can also add in more than one anchor text uh, surrounded by commas. And then when you're ready, click OK. Preview. And there you have it. And it will randomly spin. See, a different one each time. And then uh, once you're done, just click on Start Campaign. It automatically schedules everything. You see a different day. 500 each day and the first one starts running automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run and I will continue once it's done. Okay, so now our posting is complete. And just for future reference, if you ever want to go back and look at what your article that you posted, all you have to do is click this one right button right here, the preview campaign. You can go back and instantly see the article. And if you ever want to stop a, uh, a posting for any particular reason, just click the uh, stop button right here. Anyway, now let's continue on to reports. So, here's the reporting screen. Uh, as you can see, the test campaign we just completed, uh, 1 out of 17, when it started, when it ended, the pinger status, and what the pinger is, is it will uh, take all the wiki pages that you just created and uses over 80 ping services, including Pingomatic, and pings them. And this helps them get indexed by Google and recognized a lot faster so you can get your backlinks faster. Next, uh, let's check out the re uh, exporting features. Uh, you can export to either a CSV or a .txt file. Let's go and try that out. I'm going to do a CSV. So export. Uh, and it's exporting. It doesn't take very long. And done. Now I'll go ahead and open it up to show you. And here is a list of all the URLs that just got pinged. All right, so let's take one of these URLs and see what it looks like on the actual wiki site. I'll just take a random one. Let's see. I'll just take this one, the EB20. I'm going to open up my browser and go and paste it in. And there's our article, complete with our backlink right here. And also, we had a backlink at the very bottom. And there you go. That's, uh, that's pretty much all it is for reporting. And you can see it works real easily, real well. All right, that completes our overview of the Wikibomber software. If you're interested, go to the bottom of this page. You can get a seven-day limited trial offer for only $7 and afterwards if you choose to keep it it's a one time fee of $97 uh, there's no additional hidden costs or anything you pay one time $97 is yours for life all updates included I hope you enjoyed this presentation and best of luck to your internet marketing